Our Birds in Your Backyard representative Nick goes to Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario to meet with Professor John Small to discuss the study on chimney swifts. So what do you do here at Queen's University? Well, in a university, typically we do two major types of things. One we might put under the guise of teaching, and the other is research. Teaching is communicating the results of previous research, or communicating knowledge, let's say. Research is knowledge creation. We're creating new knowledge, and we do both of those things typically in the universities. Chris Grooms, my assistant, is an avid birder. They were worried about chimney swifts, which is this insect-eating bird that has been declining in Ontario and other parts of North America. There was this big chimney that was built, uh, you know, back in the 1920s over here at Queen's University. In the 1990s, they'd put a cap on it, so they, they kept the birds out. And Chris wanted the cap released so the birds could use it as a habitat because these chimney swifts, uh, at night, they go into and they roost and they live in the chimney and it's a place where they can live. Well, he got the chimney uncapped, but he looked down and he saw two meters of of droppings, bird droppings, at the bottom of this chimney. He called me over and he, we went to go and take a look at it. And this is how science often goes, it's a big surprise. We looked at it, well, I said, it might be two meters of droppings or it might be something important. <laughs> and we thought, much as what we do with lake sediments at the bottom of a lake, we thought, well, if accumulating birds have been accumulating these droppings, maybe there's a history of what they've been eating and maybe they'd be hints as to why these bird populations are in trouble. We also met with Chris Grooms, leader of the Chimney Swift Study, who showed us what they found. I discovered a big deposit of guano from years and years of Swiss roosting in that chimney. Guano is bird droppings mainly. It's, they bring up pellets of undigestible insect bits. This is a sample of the guano that comes from this Fleming Hall chimney. If you have a look at it, have a look and see. You can see various parts of the insects in there. Right in here there's a very neat little mouth part from an insect. And this would be a, a wing cover from a beetle. And this, this big thing here is an ant head. So uh, what's the current status of the uh, swift population? The chimney swift in Canada is list, listed as threatened. And they listed it because of its sharp decline in the last 40 or so years. It's declined over 95 percent in numbers. And we don't know exactly why they've declined. But uh, one thing that they have in common with all the other aerial insectivores, the birds that catch insects on the wing, is diet. They're all eating insects on the wing that they catch in midair. And so this is the only record that an aerial insectivore, an insect-eating bird, leaves in one place that we can examine. Conveniently, chimney swifts just make these, these big deposits in the chimneys when they roost at night and uh, that's, that's a good model for what's happening to insect populations in the environment. If the swifts were affected by that forced shift in their diet, forced to eat poorer food, then they wouldn't have been able to produce as many babies and so maybe that's the cause of their decline. That's what we think anyway. Will the study help the chimney swifts? It could be very valuable for conservation of not just swifts, but all birds that in, eat insects, because it is kind of a mystery why all the birds are, are in decline like this. And, and uh, if we can find out why, is it, is it contaminants? And uh, has it changed in the past throughout the range of the swifts and, the, and all the other insect-eating birds? If we can find reasons for the decline and, and that are linked to these diets and chemicals that they're exposed to, we can maybe change something uh, to help conserve them, yes. Thanks for joining us to tell us about your uh, chimney swift studies. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for your interest.